I don't want somebody to go and say there was no quorum. We have the quorum. A wide range of observations from the Parliamentary Committee on Information, Communications and National Guidance saved the Uganda National Information Technology Authority, NITA U, from being merged with its mother ministry. The committee further examined how NITA U affects the national treasury, national mandate, how it performs and its importance in the role of achieving government development goals and whether it, it's, this role is being performed by any other entity. The report of the ICT committee highly opposes disbanding the NITA U Act with the projection that the move would highly have a negative impact causing disruption to critical government systems such as electronic migration, performance budget and government payment. 2024-2025, it is projected that Nita U will generate 64 billion. The House caught government offside on information to demonstrate the financial drain caused by Nita U on the consolidated fund. Demonstration of roles between the Minister of ICT, UTCL and Nita U and claiming that the government, before the establishment of NITA U, failed to deliver the respective functions. The lack of oversight over the performance of the functions currently performed by NITA U, if NITA U is mainstreamed with the ministry, and that will be acting like a judge and a jury. The Minister for Public Service, Mroli Mukasa, tried tooth and nail to convince the House to accord government more time to address the demands, but in vain. We need more time to gather, to gather all, all that evidence that is required so that the committee can have... Um, There's a procedure a, a, matter. In a view of the fact that we have found out that the study was not constant, done qualitatively and qualitatively. At this point, the MPs supported the motion to close the debate on the NITA U Amendment Bill 2024 and proceed for the second reading. At a personal level, I support rationalization and a smaller government. But for them to roll back the huge structure they have created, they need to do it systematically. They need to look for the right justification. They are now doing it like a mob. Because we should have debated for everybody to appreciate. But the bill collapsed at its second reading. The rings have <laughs> However, Minister Muruli Mukasa says the move by parliament temporarily stays Nita U until the same bill is reprocessed. When we have uh, retabled and we have had further engagements with the information which is required and is factual, yes, government will be in position to retable uh, this bill. Yes. Uh, be, uh, uh, saying that the bill does not proceed for the second reading means that further discussion of parliament at that time regarding the bill which has been presented stops. The Member of Parliament for Shima Municipality, Dixon Kateshumbwa, says government failed to adhere to Parliament's request to implement the rationalization process in a phased manner. There seems to be no savings to talk about. You are just transferring functions to here, from here to here, and uh, recreating almost the same process. Secondly, rationalization, the rationale is for enhancing efficiency. But we have seen that some of the agencies that, have, that are being targeted to be rationalized have been fairly efficient. The environment, showcased on Wednesday's plenary, paints a picture on the forthcoming bills, intending to foster the process of the rationalization of government agencies. The debate in Parliament, it appears there are some institutions that MPs want to save and others they don't want to save. If they don't want Nita you to go, they will, say, they will give all the reasons. When you give the same reasons for the archives, they say, no, no, it should go away. So I am really also confused. Daniel Mugoya, Gloria Gutabinji, UBC News.